Hey guys, I'm Phoenix here and welcome to Minecraft 1.9.4. Now this is the FTB Unstable pack that's on the FTB launcher. And there's been a couple of mods that caught my eye and I thought I would do just a little hey these mods caught my eye sort of video. Uh, this isn't um, a tutorial, I should make that clear. I have had videos in the past where I've just been doing a quick look at things and people have actually been taking it to be the end all, you know, and come on to my videos and said, yeah, this video is terrible, he doesn't explain a thing. Those videos where I may not explain things in a particularly good way, they're not actually designed to be tutorials, they're designed to be, hey, look, this thing is kind of cool. So that's pretty much what this this video is about. It's a case of, hey, look, this, this mod is kind of cool, these two mods are, are kind of cool. But before I start, I should note this. Notice the difference. Yeah, Ender.io has had a bit of a graphical update. And so instead of just having a box with a text to put on top, it is actually more of a modelled um, item now. So the combustion generator, instead of just being a texture that looked kind of like that, it's actually got indents and little pipes and all that sort of thing. And that's been done for the sag mill and the uh, well, vast majority of, of Ender IO now. So that's kind of neat. I think possibly the um, the new graphical update for Minecraft has allowed some of this sort of more detailed stuff to to happen. I don't know, but yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. But anyway. Uh, the two mods that have caught my eye, first of it is Deep Resonance. Now this is a mod all about building your own reactors from these crystals that you find in the world and this, this ore that you find in the world. And very simply, all you need to build your first generator is a generator controller with a lever. It will actually tell you, I believe, if something's wrong. Um, I think if I do that, yeah, it will tell you there is no energy collector on this generator. Your energy collector needs to be on top of, I believe, yeah, it needs to be on top of a generator block. So that is a functioning reactor now. But the last thing you need for this are your resonating crystals. Now these have to be placed around your energy collector. So they can be placed on the same height as the energy collector or one below and one above. So I'm just going to place a couple of crystals down. Each generator block can support two crystals. So some, a basic generator like this can only support two crystals. So if you wanted to support six crystals, for example, you would need three generator blocks. And if you turn that on, you get power. Now, the purer the crystals that you've got, the more radiation it's going to release. And you do have a radiation suit that you can put on to negate the radiation effects which is slowness and hunger I believe so yeah uh, that's pretty much that mod now obviously by increasing the size of your generator something like that you can support more crystals so it's up to six for three generator blocks so one two three four five six and then do that and that will use all of the crystals and uh, create RF. Now these can this RF can be piped through any sort of RF pipe to my knowledge. I've been using Ender.io. Eventually these crystals will deplete and they are used for actually making your own crystals later on. So this is a basic setup. I should say that there is an in-game manual which is very good. It does tell you an awful lot about this. This is the bit that I'm not completely certain on yet. I just need to mess around with it a little bit more. But it does actually allow you to grow your own crystals um, of a certain purity or... Um, I think... So these ones uh, that you put down, they've got a strength, efficiency and purity of 1%. Just these are the creative ones. But you can beef those um, those numbers up by using lasers to increase the uh, potency of the I guess liquid that you use to then create your own um, uh, to create your own crystals 
so you can create the crystals that you require for for uh, making power ultimately so I thought that that was kind of neat it's there's nothing really beefed out um, of this there is sort of a radiation sensor which I believe is um, something you can only have if you've also got RF tools running um, so yeah um, yeah th that's that's pretty much that modern I thought it was kind of neat because it is literally just uh, it, it's what I like about mods in that it, it focuses on something very very specific and doesn't really mess around it just does one thing very well um, so yeah that that caught my eye the other thing that caught my eye of course was extra utilities 2 now this is very much work in progress or like a lot of these mods are they are very much a work in progress so the deal with extra utilities is if I do this to extra here we go so all of these blocks here are the items within extra utilities 2 now this is not an end all list but an awful lot of the old favourites that used to create RF have gone uh, so the lava generators, the culinary generators, all of that stuff it's all gone and instead it uses its own uh, grid power now grid power is a universal um, power system very much like the old the, the soul network from blood magic and uh, so there's no pipes it's all a passive system it just generates power so at night I believe I don't create yeah so at night I won't create any power at all and as a result nothing will happen here however if I set the time back to day again my solar panels are going to get power again and they're going to provide the resonator with power and there are a few different recipes that the resonator can make uh, if you want a sort of a more reliable system that's not solar panels you do have if I just nip to the extra utilities page you do have things like the water mill uh, the windmill uh, which generates power all the time as long as you've got uh, I think it's the, you have to keep the north and south ends of the block free but um, yeah so you can put these up onto posts you don't need to worry about running cables and this power will just be generated all the time they do generate more yeah north south blocks must be clear uh, power boosted by rain and it generates uh, power from the wind so yeah, again, reasonably simple idea. Uh, you've just got a passive generation of power to do things. And at the moment, we've only got a few different blocks in place. Uh, the the miner, for example, wherever it is. Here we go. Sorry, I should have pulled it up from here. So the miner. Let's just put the radiation sensor down and I can just literally the miner breaks blocks and but it only breaks it a block in front of it. So yeah, just like that. So yeah, a couple of mods that caught my eye. Obviously a lot of this stuff is very much work in progress, but here's the th rather interesting thing about uh, extra utilities is that the angel ring now requires power. And so you've now got to have 32 grid power or else it stops working uh, completely. So you've got to have that passive gen of 32 uh, grid power all the time um, without uh, additional machines draining that power or else you might just sort of plummet to your doom. So yeah, that was uh, that's kind of an interesting little thing. So yeah, those are the two rather interesting mods in 1.9 that I've seen so far. Far, uh, I will be doing um, an what I would call an end all now for Industrial Craft 2 shortly. Um, 
it'll take me a few days to get it all set up but it'll be done in the same format as my first five videos I think on it so we'll be looking at generators machines um, items I can't remember them all but yeah so we'll be looking at the heat mechanics and all that sort of thing and some more advanced reactors as well so with that i will say thank you very much for watching um, and i will see you next time